Hey folks, the desert artist here. Some people like to, uh, been asking me how to do the wallet stitch, or the single line braid as I call it, or the wallet stitch as I call it. Either one will work. Um, but I wanted to show you how it's done. Um, first off, when you have your line, I'm doing this brigandine for my friend Brian here. And I'm doing some real decorative stuff on the, on the seam here. Now, what I've done is you start on the second line here, like you can see I've done rolled through. Now, as I come up here, I go through this one and through the top one. And make sure that your line, your, your, your leather is always straight. You don't want to pull it too taut. You want to keep it kind of a little bit of slack in there. Well, starting out is generally going to be the hardest part for a lot of people, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. Now I'm going to show you the way to do the thick braid here, as opposed to the single one. Now see, here's a point where you can do it thick or you can do it thin. You see where I'm coming up here? I can go around this one here and down. That would make it real thick, which means it'll put it up a raised, a higher, higher uh, profile than doing it down and through here like this. It'll only do two braids as opposed to doing three. So it just provides a little bit more. This is, as this is going to be a brigandine, a piece of armor. I, I want it to be as as thick and pronounced as possible. I'm going to do this braid down here like this and another similar braid here. And I'm going to get really froggy and I'm going to put copper wire. I'm going to do the same braid here in copper wire between these holes here. So it's going to be these two things here and then a braid of copper wire is going to go down in between here. Yeah, that's going to be crazy stuff. But like I said, here we go. Uh, I know some repetitive action is generally needed for for it to sink in sometimes just gonna want to show you what it looks like here
as you can see it's a very pronounced ridge that's there now and as it continues down it'll be nice and solid it'll almost be like a nice rope it'll be hard and gnarly yet it'll be flexible where you can turn with it not a problem it's a very simple braid it's just a matter of once you figure it out it's just like riding a bike it never goes away remember if I wanted to, if, I, if I wanted to get thinner I can still go thinner from where I'm at now I don't have to continue my braid going up here on the third row uh, past the third line I can go up through the second one here and make it thinner if I want to if I go through this second one here or I can go continue on through this third one make it gnarly more burly and if you want to go even bigger I can continue and come up over here and go another step up where we're doing five layers of leather I mean it would be really gnarly like a rope tied to it and but I don't want to do that I want to stick with this one here I don't want to get too froggy on it That's how you do the the one line braid, the single line braid. And you see as it comes on the back side underneath, it's very nice. You can see that it comes across and the inside, if you really want to, you can hang little pouches on the inside if you wanted to off of that to give another utility for it. But anyway, that's the uh, single line braid, or as I like to call it, the wallet stitch. You only use one line from beginning to end. You can even put this a little longer. It'll hang down a little bead to make it a little fringy bead decorative thingamadoohickey. Anyway, 